uh, Dan Giroso from the Woodside Fire Protection District. Woodside Fire District along with the town of uh, Woodside and all the fire agencies throughout San Mateo County and some from uh, Palo Alto and uh, Cal Fire and Santa Clara County put on a, a large wildland and evacuation drill. Uh, we had numerous scenarios of active fire, uh, some structure protection, some uh, neighborhood evacuation. What we're doing is we're training our yearly wildland drill um, which we started years ago but unfortunately we moved on to a different location and now brought it back to the Woodside Fire Protection District. So it's a large drill including the evacuation and it encompasses 25 strike, uh, strike teams this year which is a roughly, um, or not 25 strike teams, 25 engines, 5 strike teams which roughly about 150 personnel are on scene at all the different locations. And it's strictly a training exercise to get them prepared for the upcoming wildland season. Um, so we're trying to get our wildland gear all put together, our guys all up to snuff so to speak, uh, training done. And so that when we do get called out, as did last night, a, a crew did get called out already to go fight these fires throughout the state, that we're ready for them. And we're ready to bring crews into this area. Indeed, if we get this type of wildland fire, that we'd have to ask for all these resources. Copy, next assignment is structure one. Be fired. Today went well. Um, a lot of lessons learned. Uh, that's really the whole premise of this wildland drill is to figure out what we're not doing well, what we can do better, what we can improve on, and to hopefully notify the residents of the threat here and, and get them prepared, get them starting to prepare their own homes, i.e. the 30 foot uh, distance from the house for a clearance, up to 100 feet on the hillside, making sure the roof's clear of debris and old vegetation and stuff. And just getting their mindset kind of in that thought process of this could happen here in, in this district or in anywhere in San Mateo County. So I guess one of the biggest things that can happen is the, it's really what the homeowner can do for themselves, for their neighbors, and for the fire district. You have good preparation on your home, good clearance, good safety areas, it makes it a little bit easier for us, easier for incoming crews that don't know the area, and it makes it safer for you and your neighbors. And that being said, if that happens, we have a better chance of keeping all our fires small. As a citizen, as a resident, how, how do I educate myself to know what to do? How, how do I work with, with, with so you folks to prepare my house? You can always contact the Woodside Fire Protection District. We're happy to come out. Any, any individual home, we do it all the time, go through each home and tell you what's safe, what's not, and what you need to prepare yourself with. There's a lot of information we give on uh, classes. I'm doing one May 13th at the uh, Sequoias. I'm putting on a wildland uh, presentation that night. I think it's, I believe it's 7 o'clock. I know they're inviting everybody from the squares in the Perola Valley area, so we could, you could absolutely do that. And if you have a neighborhood that wants a presentation done, we can do that for you too, to make your home safer and your, your neighborhood safer. Uh, the last thing you can do is go on the Woodside Fire website, so it's www.woodsidefire.org. And the website has some information on there. Again, contact us and we'll answer any questions you have.